Well, it's official. It's just straight out official. White Fox just shot themselves in the head. Not the foot, in the head. They, they literally have went psycho. Let me explain why. They are merging two arcs technically together. Or not two arcs, they're not really merging two arcs because they've skipped over a vast amount of content. A lot of fucking content. And they're trying to merge the first fight with Night Raid and Esdes with the current fight that's going on with the up-to-date with the manga. And, like, what the fuck was I seeing? Like, they effectively shit on every single character in this episode, almost. White Fox effectively did this. Anime Only Watchers, let me explain to you something real quick. This episode opens up massive plot holes. Massive ass plot holes. Like, oh my god, the plot holes are bad. Like, damn. Damn. The, the, I mean, it, it, it's so bad, the plot holes. The thing is, this episode, if I was an anime-only watcher I didn't read the manga a couple days ago, I would have felt nothing for Susano or Mine's death in this episode. Once again, I would have felt nothing for a death. And to see how they did this in this episode... They're, they're completely spoiling the events of the manga, and they're giving you, like, bare-bone minimum information about these deaths or no development. Like, for instance, the way White Fox is doing this is that they're going over some of the events, but they're not giving the proper information and the fluff around it. They're just giving you the bare fucking bones of what's going on, and that's it. They're spoiling key events of the manga, but they're not giving you the actual development you would want to know and care about for specific characters. Like Susano! Fucking Susano in this episode. I, okay, let me explain. I did a review a couple days back, and I talked about the Esdes versus Susano fight. I'm like, dude, that shit was hype. It was amazing. They destroyed Nagenda and Susano's relationship and destroyed the badass aurora and atmosphere around Susano with this episode. Like, what the hell? Fudo. Okay, let, let's get into this. Let's get into one of the one of the massive plot holes of this episode. Budo. Is Budo fucking dead? Did I just see Budo die in this episode? Okay, let me explain something. Budo is as strong as Esdef. Yeah, he is as strong as Esdef. In power. And you're telling me he is dead? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's not just that. The overall aspect, the way mine died, what the fuck was that? What was that? Okay, of course, there, there's people that love it when characters die. Like, for instance, I know a lot of people do not like mine and they want her to die. Fine. But the thing is, is that is not even a good death. It's not even a satisfying death if you wanted to see a character die. That, that death was like... What the fuck was that? It, it, it just came out of nowhere. It literally came out of nowhere. Like, what? Like, that's not even a satisfying enough death for anyone that actually wanted to see mine die. I don't. I actually like mine. I really like her character. But if someone wanted to see mine die, that wasn't even probably effective enough death to probably make anyone happy. It wasn't. So, what the hell? Oh, yeah, another thing I want to talk about. Like... They clearly, like, were speeding up the pacing in this episode. Like, there was events going on all over the place in this episode. Like, you had it to where Esdes was fighting Nagenda and Susano. You had it to where Budo was fighting Night Raid, and then they, and freaking Budo gets destroyed. You had it to where Tots me all that at the end with a kiss with mine. Just the overall pacing of this episode was not executed properly either. And it's not just that. It's not just that about this episode. The mind confession. The mind confession. No, 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 no. Fuck no. No. White Fox. I know not everybody agrees with the taught to me mind pairing. Not everybody agrees with that. Fine. But they literally destroyed all purpose, like massive, massive purpose of why Mind would even want to rush into the face of death to save Tatsumi. I mean, she tries to make it 
sound like, oh, she came to save Tots me because he saved her once before. And, okay, you'll live with that. But, the overall atmosphere of the way when Mine actually did come to save Tatsumi in the manga, she came because she was already going out with Tatsumi. She was announcing that she was going to quit Night Raid to go save Tatsumi. Because she was in a relationship with him. She was in a relationship. She had romance progression with him. They completely cut that out. It, it, it was completely cut out. And then she confesses right before she dies. That's poor. That, that, that is poor. That is a terrible way to execute the, 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 the freaking romance. Like, like I said, like I said, I'm fine. But some events being changed around. Some events, okay, that happens in terms of different anime. But when you rip out development from characters to where you can't even fucking care for a character when they die, that's awful. That is god-awful. That is terrible. Terrible. What was going through White Fox's mind when they made this piece of shit? Like, this piece of shit ending. This, uh, this uh, freaking anime original. This is a piece of shit. It's mixing in two different freaking arcs together. And it doesn't work like that. It doesn't fucking work. It doesn't make a lick of sense with the plot holes they're opening up with this freaking episode. It doesn't. At all. It doesn't. If you don't understand me, anime only watchers, go read the manga. Start at chapter 35 and read to the very end. We are literally on chapter 52, 53, and even past the events that the current chapter of the manga is at. And we're getting anime original content, which we don't know what is going to happen. And I am actually scared if something like this is going to happen. For instance, the entire bits with mine. I'm pretty infuriated right now. I'm really mad because this series had so much fucking potential, just like Tokyo Ghoul. Tokyo Ghoul had so much fucking potential. It was a great series, and then anime studios had to fucking pull their middle finger up and just take a shit on everything. Why can't companies do something properly for once? Why can't other companies be like Madhouse sometimes or even a football? Why, why can't other companies, at the very least, try to have some form of quality, not want to force in fucking... Anime original content. Now, I saw arguments with people saying like, Oh, no, no, the popularity of Akami got Kill. That's the reason why they did an anime original ending. No, it's not. It's not because of that. The reason why this is doing so bad is because they just decided to rush things. They make anime beforehand. Before it starts airing. Way before. Anime gets in production a long time before it gets released to the public. So this stuff was already set in stone way before they had the time to actually find out if the popularity was good or not for Akami Ga Kill. So nobody can give me that crap saying that it's because of the popularity of why they decided to go with the anime original ending. It's not. It's not at all. It's the factor that the anime studio decided to shit on themselves, take a bullet to the head, and decide to pull the middle finger up to every manga reader of this series. I'm honestly slightly more disgusted with how they're handling this a little bit more than Tokyo Ghoul. Tokyo Ghoul, at the very least, kind of had the events in proper sequence. I mean, they changed things around, but you could understand it was a little bit more coherent compared to some things in Akami Ga Kill. So seeing this, how they handled this, it's sickening. It is sickening. I'm so fucking glad I read the manga this week. I, I am so glad. If I, if I didn't read the manga, I probably would have not have read the manga. I want to be straight out honest with you all right now. I probably would have not have read even the manga. I would not even touched the manga after seeing something like this. Because it pisses me off. Because this honestly spoils a lot of events in the manga that they just cut completely over. So yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I I'm done. Yeah, so tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I love you all so much. You have a wonderful day or not. White Fox, just get your shit together. Seriously, you were on a roll at the beginning of this. Just get your shit together. So yeah, she be out.